Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the XE Christmas special. What? What am I doing? Well, I'm just watching TV to pass time until Christmas, of course. As a matter of fact, the new XE video is coming on now. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy XC. Welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna have to admit it was a pretty rough year, but as rough as the year was, I still have one more video to give to you guys to hopefully make your year just a little bit better before it ends. But I just have to ask, why did Christmas start so early this year? I mean, dude, it was like November 10th and people were already putting up decorations. I mean, I guess you could say that people need the Christmas spirit because you know, 2020 and all that. But bro, before Thanksgiving, I don't know, man. But regardless, as the Christmas decorations start getting put up and the Christmas spirit started rolling in, I started seeing more and more Christmas commercials. Now I'll admit there are some really good Christmas commercials and one of the fan favorites which happens to be one of my favorites as well is the Sprite Cranberry commercial. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. The answer is clear. I mean, bro, what is there not to like about that commercial? But sadly, with all these very good Christmas commercials came some very, very shitty Christmas commercials. So yeah, that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So sit back, relax, grab your hot chocolate and your candy canes, and let's get straight into it. <laughs> But would you look at that? Santa's gotta take a shit. Okay, no, no. Actually, what the hell is this, bro? We don't need these super realistic sound effects, like... Father Christmas? Oh, uh, hi. I, I, I didn't mean to wake you. Was just trying to find the loo. It wasn't you. It's that stench. I'm sorry, dearie. Just well, go back to sleep. I was dreaming of sugar plums. Then along came the ghost of Christmas ass. Uh, listen, just just give me a second, okay? And I'll wrap this right up. What is that smell? Oh, jeez, not again. Who do you think? Now, I'm not sure if this is just me, but this scene pisses me off because I've been in this situation before where people are, like, trying to talk to me while I'm taking a shit. Like, give me my privacy, bro. My man Santa doesn't deserve this, bro. Please, girls, go back to bed. He's dropping your logs down his chimney. <laughs> Yo, get this girl a job as a stand-up comedian at a bar or something. She's just absolutely on it with the terribly corny jokes. Come on now, a little privacy would be great. I've been holding this thing since Dubai. I mean, as I said earlier, bro, give this man his privacy. He's just trying to take a shit. Yo, what if it was like any other night and like somebody was just taking a fat ass shit and it was like one of their parents? Like, do they all just start having a conversation there? The whole house smells like a gingerbread manslaughter. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the milk and cookies, okay? Every year destroys me. Well, now that you're here, dumping lumps of coal in our toilet. Bro, this girl just can't get enough, bro. This is why I think she should be a stand-up comedian, bro. She is just coming up with these jokes on the spot. Like, bro, I wonder who actually had to come up with these, like, terribly corny jokes. Like, I feel bad for them. What did you get me for Christmas? <laughs> Grizz! I don't make a meal of it, okay? It's not that bad. Look what I found! Jesus, there's another one? I don't know, man. I'm not sure if this guy is a real Santa. Shouldn't he know how many kids there are living in that house? Honestly, I feel like that's an essential thing if you ask me. Whoa, put that back. That's I was looking around for that horrible stench, and I found this under the tree. That's not for <gasps> you. iPhones, hundreds of them, all for us. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to get those gifts back, oh and you're all going on the naughty list. Oh, yeah? Then I'm going to put you on Instagram. Hashtag. You know, a few minutes into this ad and I still have no idea what it's for. Like, bro, this picture is posting a picture of Santa taking a shit on Instagram. Like, I, I'm not making any connections. Do you know who I am? You have any idea? Put it in the cloud with his stinky thoughts. You can't blackmail Santa. Look, Kringle. You never should have pinched off a hot slice of fruitcake without using poopery. Bro, I don't even get what this girl is saying at this point, man. Poopery? Poopery. The gift that stops stinking. Alright, well now my question has been answered. Now I know it's a freaking poopery ad, whatever the hell that is. Since we're exchanging gifts, here's one for you. Next time, spritz the bowl before you go, and no one else will ever know. So you can keep sneaking without reeking. Yo, why is this little girl so pissed off? I know for a damn fact, when she takes a shit, it does not smell like butterflies and rainbows. It happens to the best of us. You can't get mad at Santa for that. And your dingleberries will smell like jingleberries. All right, we got the terribly corny jokes again. I think that's just a reoccurring thing in this ad at this point. But bro, I just can't get over this little girl being so pissed off. Like, bro, she is fuming. Just look at her face. You can't tell me this girl 
girl is not genuinely mad. Now, it would be one thing if everybody was mad and it was just a part of the commercial, but this girl is like genuinely mad. Like, I don't think this is an act at this point. Anything else? Yeah, Santa. Hurry up. I really need to take- Hi, right, bro. So listen, listen. You can't get mad at my boy Santa for taking a shit. And then you just have to go take a shit after? Like, come on, man. That's just completely unreasonable at this point. Okay, no, but I guess this commercial is supposed to be advertising this spray that you spray before you take a shit. Now, I believe that this product is unnecessary because who's about to go take a sit on the toilet and then you're like, Oh, wait, let me just spray my purpuri real quick. Like, bro, I know for a damn fact nobody's gonna do that. Jingle bells, your poo smells before you drop a bomb. Click right here to save your rear at poopery.com. Bro, my man Santa is having none of it. Look how pissed off this guy is. And the thing is, is that I relate to this on a personal level. I would not want to have to deal with this while I'm trying to take a shit. In my opinion, that's one of the few times when a man should be unbothered. No exceptions. <laughs> And here we are again with the terribly accurate sound effects. Like, bro, we don't need the fart sound effects every time. Lights on. Snow. Snow. Go. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Open door. Alright, so I guess in this ad, they're trying to advertise some sort of facial recognition thing. And hey, I kind of like this. We're not starting off on too bad of a start. Let's see what this ad has in store for us. Face recognized. Whoa. Door open. All right, so it looks like this guy's actually sneaking away for whatever reason. All right, so I think I already know what's gonna happen. This guy's gonna try and use the facial recognition and it's just not gonna work. Now, what did I tell you? Recognized. Face not recognized. Now here's the problem with this. What person have you seen dressed up as Santa wearing a mask? Normally they just have a fake beard and a fake mustache. Now that could also just screw up the facial recognition, but I'm sure not as much. But I get that this ad is not to be taken from a logical standpoint, so let's keep watching. Mama. <sighs> Error. Hmm. Face not recognized. <laughs> Okay, now that kid was pissing me off, bro. Just freaking standing there staring at him. Like, bro, if she would have just gone away for just a second, it wouldn't have been a problem. Hey, Miriam. Good bra. Yeah. Oh, ho. <laughs> Too many attempts. System locked. No. Snow. <laughs> Ho, ho. Okay, so honestly, that wasn't that bad of an ad, but the only thing is, what were they trying to advertise? Like, were they trying to get us to not use facial recognition? Because it showed the lady going into the house just fine, but it never really showed anything out of the ordinary being used. So I don't really get what they're getting at other than just telling people to be normal and not use facial recognition. Sorry, guys. No carrots again. Damn, bro, I can't believe that, man. Just give the reindeer their carrots and celery. You know, I'm just straight up pissed off at humanity for that. Like, come on, man, you know better. Bro, if you ain't putting out carrots or celery on Christmas, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Bro, no way, dude. Like, what are the chances, dude, that all of humanity just forget to put out carrots and celery? Honestly, at this point, I just find it hard to believe. I'm tired, 
too, you know. Santa, bro, I don't want to hear it. You've had your cookies. You've had your milk at every house. You got to get these deer, their carrots, and celery. But honestly, one reoccurring thing about these ads is that I have no idea what they're trying to get at. There's never really a grabber for what they're trying to advertise. Therefore, their product will never really do as well. So I don't really know. I'm guessing these commercials didn't do the best. <laughs> Yo, no way this is a McDonald's commercial. What are they gonna do, give the deer Big Macs? Like, I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's a thought that counts, but like, it's not carrots or celery. Christmas. Okay, yeah, you know what? That guy's most definitely not the real Santa. I know for a damn fact. Santa would not say Happy Christmas. In fact, I don't think anybody else would say that. Wait, hold up. Is it actually normal to say Happy Christmas? Like, I don't want to be shitting on it if people genuinely say Happy Christmas. All right, so I did my research, and apparently it's okay to say Happy Christmas, but everybody can agree that it just sounds sort of wrong. No way they had freaking carrots at McDonald's, bro. Since when did they have carrots at McDonald's? Isn't that freaking much like holy shit? Hey, good stuff, bro. The reindeer got their freaking carrots. Christmas is saved. Let's go. Well, hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. So much has happened in this year, and I really can't thank you guys enough. I went from 300 subscribers to 3,000. I really just can't believe it. So I hope all you guys have a great Christmas and have a great time with y'all's families. So yeah, thank you all for the amazing year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all later. Peace.